Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and welcome to tutorial number 12. And in this tutorial, I wanna to talk to you guys about deleting stuff from your SQL table. Uh, so we have taken a look at inserting and updating and yeah, now it is finally time to learn how to delete some stuff from your table. But I do kind of wanna stress uh, and I probably should have stressed this in a previous video as well uh, with the update video that there is a chance you could lose everything in your table. Uh, so yeah, if you do this, if you do do this delete thing and you do it wrong, you make a mistake somewhere along the line, it is possible that you could delete everything in the table and that would be a very, very bad thing. So of course you don't wanna do that, um, which means that it's always best practice to just go over to your table and um, make sure you click export. Uh, and that'll give you the option to uh, export an SQL version of uh, the table that you uh, have selected. Um, and that way you can always just restore from a backup by importing that back into uh, my PHP my admin, right? Uh, but now that uh, I've gotten that out of the way, let's take a look at our table again. And I just want to, uh, yeah, basically get you guys to familiarize yourself with the table. So in this case, um, before you delete something from the table, you probably just wanna just check over it and see what information you're actually deleting. And uh, then jump over to the SQL tab. And uh, here is where we finally get to write our query. Uh, and this is very, very important. Uh, if you don't wanna lose the data within the table, you need to make, oh yeah, if you don't wanna lose all of the data, you need to make sure to type this query really carefully. Uh, so the first thing you wanna do is type delete from, and then you're gonna to wanna to put a table name. So in this case, users. And uh, yeah, basically this is the part that I've been stressing about. If you run a qu this query just like this, it's gonna delete everything from the table. Of course, you don't wanna do that. So the very important part here is to make sure that you add a where clause and then add in a condition that makes a lot of sense. So in this case, if you only wanna select or if you only wanna delete one user, uh, then let's go by the user ID. So hopefully you know which, what the ID or user ID of the user is that you wanna delete. And then just go ahead and say where that ID is equal to uh, the ID that you wanna delete. In this case, I think uh, we'll go with 16 and let's hit go. And that query should run and you can see that we have now deleted one row. But again, if you ran that without a good where clause, if this clause didn't make sense, you might've actually, actually accidentally deleted your entire table. Uh, but let's go ahead and take a look and you can see that we now no longer have a user with the user ID of 15, he's gone. Um, that was a user that we created in the previous tutorial called Brad. Uh, we can test this out a little bit more so I can go ahead and delete somebody else from my table. Let's try and delete Kenny from uh, South Park. So let's jump over to the SQL tab over here. And I guess we can run the same query. I just need to make sure that I know what that ID was. I kind of totally forgot it. Uh, Kenny, Kenny was ID 11. So let's jump over here, put that query in and then delete it where the user ID is equal to 11 and that will delete uh, Kenny. So now he's gone. All right, so if we browse that, you can see uh, Kenny user ID 11 is now dead. He's killed from the table. So I killed Kenny. Anyway, now that he's dead, I suppose it is, um, a good time to just talk to you guys about why I was using the ID in my query. So again, I want to make sure that when I'm deleting something from the table that I get very specific. So I'd rather use an ID because if let's say I said where uh, name is equal to something like John or Quinton and I had like five or six Johns or five or six Quintons in my table, I might accidentally delete too many people. Uh, that's why it's a good idea to just, whenever you're deleting a row, delete by a primary key uh, like ID. 
Anyway, now that we have got that out of the way, uh, and now you know how to delete things or rows out of your table one row at a time, go ahead and give it a try. Make sure to always have that where clause in there because you don't want to accidentally delete everything from the table. And uh, yeah, uh, before I end off this video, I just want to send a huge shout out to these guys. Uh, and these guys are my sponsors who contribute $5 or more on Patreon every single month. And that goes a long way to helping me make more videos more often. So if you like my videos and you want to help me make more, then go ahead and uh, check out my Patreon page and uh, maybe contribute a little bit. So don't forget to subscribe. Please feel free to leave a like comment and share this video because that's really going to help my channel grow and I'll see you guys next time.